here uh, is an applied density problem. Uh, a plane of aluminum can carry 400 passengers. How many passengers would it carry if it's made out of steel instead? For simplicity, we'll consider the plane as a cylinder with these parameters right here. Uh, and we'll also need the density of aluminum um, uh, and steel as well as the average uh, weight of a person for our calculations. All right, let's get started by analyzing the problem. Uh, in the first case, when the plane is made out of uh, aluminum, the engines will be able to carry a total mass that equals the mass of the body of the plane made of aluminum plus the total mass of 400 person. Uh, on the other hand, when the plane is made out of uh, steel, engines will be able to carry the same total mass, but in this case, it's going to equal the mass of uh, the plane body made out of steel plus a total mass of passengers that should equal 400 minus a certain number. That decrease in the number is needed to counteract the increase in the mass of the body of the plane itself. And that's what we need to ca calculate. The total mass of passengers that needs to be decreased should equal the difference between the mass of the body of the plane made out of iron or steel minus the mass made out of aluminum. Any mass can be calculated from the volume of the object multiplied times the density of the material of which the object is made. We know the density, but we don't know the volume. That's what we need to figure out right now, how to calculate volume of the plane. We were given a description of the plane as a cylinder of a height L. And we were given also the diameter and the thickness of the body. What we will do in order to be able to calculate the actual volume of the body itself, we will cut that cylinder and spread it as a sheet. So the length of that sheet is going to be the same length of the cylinder. However, the width of the sheet is going to be the circumference of the circle. That's the base of the cylinder. So the width is 2 pi r, which is the radius of that cylinder. And the height of that sheet is basically the given thickness that we have. So in this case, the volume is going to equal the length of the sheet times the width times the height. We have the length and the height which are given. We need to figure out how to calculate the width. And as we said, it should equal the circumference of the circle. That is the base of the cylinder. So width is going to equal 2 pi times the radius of the cylinder, which should equal half of the diameter of the cylinder itself which is a uh, half of 6.5 meters so it's going to be 3.25 meters giving us a width for that sheet that equals 20.42 meters now that we have all the dimensions of the sheet we can calculate the volume uh, which can be given by multiplying the lengths given, which is 70.7 meters, times the width that we just calculated, which is 20.42 meters, times the thickness that is given, but it's given in uh, millimeters, so we have to convert it to meters before we uh, insert it. So it's going to be 2.5 millimeters multiplied times the conversion factor from millimeters to meters, which is 10 to the power 3 millimeter equals 1 meter. 
that gives us a volume for the body of the plane equals 3.61 cubic meter. Next, we move to using that volume to calculate the mass of the plane when it's made out of aluminum using the density of aluminum. So mass case of aluminum is going to equal the volume that we just calculated 3.61 cubic meter times the density of aluminum. But before we do this calculation, we have to pay attention to the units. Density here are given in units of grams per cubic centimeter. So we either convert the volume to cubic centimeters and use the density as a conversion factor as it is, or we have to convert the conversion factor into a ratio of kilograms per cubic meters to match with the units of the volume. So we will uh, move from volume in cubic meters by converting it to cubic centimeters. So one cubic meter equals 10 to the power six cubic centimeter. Now we have the volume in cubic centimeters, so we can use density now to convert it to mass. So we multiply by density of aluminum, which is 2.70 grams per one cubic centimeter. Now we have the mass in grams, but we definitely need to convert it to kilograms to be able to calculate the number of people by dividing by the weight of one person in kilograms. So we're going to use the conversion factor from grams to kilograms, which is one kilogram divided by 10 to the power three of grams. Just to make sure that we set up the calculation correctly, we're going to follow the units. We, we see that cubic meter canceled out with cubic meter, cubic centimeter was cubic centimeter, gram was gram, and you will be getting a mass of the plane in kilograms, which equals 9745.1 kilograms. We repeat the same calculation to calculate the mass of the plane if it were made out of iron instead. It's going to be the same exact calculation, except we're going to be using the density of iron instead of the density of aluminum. So it's going to be the volume of the plane in cubic meters. And then we convert it to cubic centimeters using one cubic meter equals 10 to the power six cubic centimeter. Then we use the density of iron given to us, which is 7.87 grams per one cubic centimeter. Then we need to convert it from grams to kilograms. That gives us the mass of the plane in kilograms if it was made out of iron. And it should have been 28410.7 kilograms. So now we need to calculate the difference in mass between the two cases. So the change in mass is going to be the mass of the body made out of iron minus the mass of the body made out of aluminum, which equals 18665.7 kilograms that's the total mass that needs to be decreased and to find how many people will be decreased out of the 400 passengers we divide this number by the average weight of a single person total mass that needs to be decreased divide by the average weight of a single person which is 84 kilograms which is supposed to be two, two, two passengers. So the number of passengers that could be carried uh, carried inside the plane if it were made out of steel should equal 400 minus two, 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 which is one, seven, eight passengers.